From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Morning Line. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Morning Line. I'm Nick Barris, of course. It is Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. We've got a great show to kick things up. Yeah, you bring that coffee right up here for him right oh. now. He's going to need it. That's right. <laughs> this morning, thank He's you, better. Carly. You are so great. I just, Carly, no. All right, well, so you're wondering who I'm talking to here, okay? <laughs> She's back behind the camera. You don't get to see Carla, though you're welcome any time. More importantly, she is the very able assistant of our guest this morning, um, staffer who's been with him a long time, and I would say that maybe she is there the wind beneath your wings, but he runs the show at the jail here in Davidson County. That would make him not the police chief, but the sheriff. Darren Hall. <laughs> what an intro. How are you, Sheriff? Uh, after that, I have no idea. Oh, she got you that coffee in a well, hurry, That's water, you? and I, I oh. was late running in. I, I could have gotten it myself. You, I felt bad. You are the one guest that will show up literally, you know, 30 seconds or a minute beforehand. Okay, and but I don't worry about it at all because you always make it. We have other guests sometimes. We've called them, and if they're not here by 5 or 10 minutes before, like, oh, no, they're not going to make it, it's, and sometimes they don't. You always are here on time. Well, thank you. It's just your, uh, thank you for coming. I, I'm sorry. We had him uh, you know, penciled in for uh, last month, and we had to cancel it because of some breaking news. But So it's been a couple months since we've seen you. It's good to have you. How well, are I'm you? glad to be here. Happy to be back. Well, we're going to open up the phone lines as always. But uh, Davidson County Sheriff uh, Darren Hall with us. Uh, we can talk about a broad range of topics, what's happening over there at the jail and uh, what uh, you know, you've been up to lately. You travel a lot and are involved with a lot of things. We're also right now at a point where an awful lot of sheriffs I think you're okay as we have the election coming up, but uh, several of your colleagues are facing challenges, right? Uh, what's it like when you see many of these men and women? Well, I guess, are there any female sheriffs in the state of Tennessee? Uh, no, not to your that knowledge? I know of. I mean, not we've right had now. them in the right. past, but right. not right now. Of course, you're in Davidson County, but you get to know these sheriffs, and when there's turnover like that, is there a learning curve when the new ones come in? Yeah, you know, about a third of them turn over every right. time. So you, you're, you're talking about a lot of folks, and, and um, there, there's a, a school now, the new sheriff school, that goes on, <clears throat> I think, in late August. And um, it's really a great opportunity. You get together with that, the, that group for a week, and you go over all sorts of issues and get to know each other. And then sure. um, uh, graduate, I guess. I always find it interesting. Once you're elected, you go to school. I always used to say, well, what happens if you don't pass the school? I was going to say, uh, exactly. But it's really a good thing. It's fairly new. It started <laughs> right after, or back, right, I guess when I was first elected. And they do a really good job at the Tennessee Law Enforcement Academy out here, and they, they bring them all in. And um, The basics they need to know. But anyone yeah. can run for sheriff. I, I guess you have to have, what is it, the... Uh, it's some type of certification to yeah. be able to run. What is well, that again? Well, yeah, you don't have to be post-certified yeah, to run. You have to be post-certified once you've won and under a window of time. They, uh, there's been some changes. You know, obviously, you have to live in the county that you live in, and, and um, there you can't have. Um, you have to pass psychological. You have to have pass a background check. There's all sorts of those right. types of things, but. Um, uh, you don't have to have a, a law enforcement background like some folks have asked over the years, and uh, but you do have to clear background, clear psychological, um, and do several other things. You do have to file papers with post commission and so forth. But the basic stuff, though. But unlike you know, I couldn't run for judge because right. I don't have a right. law degree. Uh, there used to be right. common law right. judges, right. but that's to. changed now. Um, you know, or, or district Congress attorney or, or something right. along those lines. But sheriff, you sometimes have folks that come from not traditional law enforcement backgrounds. Now you did. You were chief. Right. Because you really you know knew what was going on from this but there are sometimes folks and I'm not saying it's good or bad one way or the other but you have people that come from outside the realm of law enforcement and yeah, my sister lives in Perry County one of yeah. the smallest counties in the state and um, you know they oftentimes retired troopers would, would will run but you can have folks that you know sell vehicles or right. you know, furniture sales persons run and um, you know very popular in the county that's kind of an interesting story I, uh, I have a 12 year old son and I I tricked him into sitting down Saturday afternoon and watching the movie Walking Tall with me, the original Walking <laughs> Tall. The original Tall. one. I loved yeah. that movie when I was younger, and uh, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen it. And uh, he, he had a buddy over last night, and I heard him in there going, "My dad made me watch this movie." That, you know, he, he hated yeah. it, but it, um, it. What's interesting about that is that people may not remember is Buford Pusser, who again was mm -hmm. was very famous. He was actually a wrestler. That's where Before, he came right. from uh, and ran for sheriff out of the blue. Really yeah. wasn't in law enforcement. And he made, I guess, you know, his story was amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> carrying the big stick yeah. and all of that. And I, I'm guessing the movie, and your son probably would have liked the more recent version, yeah. starring The Rock, even though I don't think it was as good as the one <laughs> he watched. Me but I mean, um, these days, uh, 
it's not the same. No. <laughs> I, it but it is, a, I mean, in, in a weird way, the, the job, let me go back to Andy Griffith. I mean, you know, yeah. the, the, the role of sheriff in a lot of counties is still someone you call for help. The cat's in the right. tree. Uh, you right. know, there really is. It's a small town. My in-laws live in McMinnville, and that county is a, um, you know, is a, I, I really enjoy small town living, really. And um, mm -hmm. I, I like the way that it works. People go to church together, go to school together, live together, yep. they know each other. I mean, Mendel is Sheriff Matheny, right? Yes. Okay. Hockey, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just a very, to me, um, I don't know, it's just the role is, is, is different in different places here. Of course, it's a very large city and a lot going on. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, there's been a lot of arguments over the, the last few years about whether there should be requirements to be in law enforcement to run. Uh, I have mixed emotions about that. I, I don't necessarily believe that's the only way that you can be a good sheriff at all. Gail Ray, our, uh, you mentioned, uh, I thought was a fantastic sheriff. She was really a business-minded person who really didn't know much at all about the day-to-day -day operation stuff, but was an incredibly uh, effective leader and, and, I, and I thought a very good person to run an organization like the sheriff's office. So. Uh, I would hate to see people like herself and others get uh, eliminated mm -hmm. uh, based on it, but uh, a lot of sheriffs believe you should have it in your blood to, to run, and uh, I have mixed emotions, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, because you see a mixed bag of who turns out to be, and there are good sheriffs and not as good sheriffs right. along the way, but be interesting to see how it all plays out. So that's the election cycle here. wanted to ask you this just at the top before we get to the phone calls, and Joe's already on the line, and we, we'll take calls for the sheriff, 737-7587, but last time you were on, you talked about looking into running for mayor of Nashville. Nashville. Anything change or where are you at in that process? Yeah, you know, we're on the ballot again here in a few weeks, and I, I think that's the, you know, you, you need to respect that process. Mm -hmm. We would have swearing in around the corner, um, assuming that you that you, you win in August. And uh, But we're doing some things behind the scenes. We're going places, talking to, to people and asking questions. Uh, I've said before, there's there's a uh, there's a person every day getting in the mayor's race, and so uh, I'll let all of them figure out what they want to do, and we're trying to you know do it ourselves and think through that. I think the decisions to do some something like that, there are factors you need to take into account: your family and the money and the the time and the circumstance. Uh, you know, and the job I'm in now, I love the job, so I'm not running away from anything. And um, uh, but the field really isn't solidified, as, as I've said before, and, and I think we have an opportunity that we need to exhaust before, uh, yeah, you know, before you shut the door on it or, or open it, and, and we're going through that process. And I think, uh, you know, I think I feel a little awkward being on the ballot for the job that I've been doing for a long time and, and really going full-fledged in, into anything else. And so we, we're going through some steps behind the scenes, doing the job every day, and, um, you know, and I think, I think early fall probably we, we would announce something, but... Uh, uh, things are going well. We, we, uh, um, it was kind of interesting. I've had people call the house and think I'm already running and asking for yard signs and want to donate money. And I said, look, we haven't decided to do that yet. We are, uh, we're looking into it. But, um, but it's, it's been, a, been an interesting thing. And again, I'm very happy with where I'm at. And, and um, you know, we'll just kind of weigh all that out and make a decision here soon. And I don't know if you have this in mind, but is there one or two things that you're looking at that would really dictate for you, yeah, I think I'll go for it, and, um, or no, I don't want to? You know, a couple things are important. The, the future of the sheriff's office is very important to me. I mean, I've put a lot into that all my life, and um, that, that, that's an important part of this. Um, the, the reality of anything like this, I do not have, I'm a, not a self-funded person. Uh, you you'd clearly have to go raise money, and it's a lot of money today, and um, I don't love that part of it. I know that comes with it. Um, you know, we're, we're doing some work in that right now, but... Um, you know, clearly, you know, if you weren't able to raise the money, that would eliminate you. And I think you need mm -hmm. to know if you can raise what it takes. And so we're doing that part of it. But, um, you know, if there were a name in the race that I was totally uh, believed in and was excited about, then I, I probably would, would forego the opportunity and, and try to assist that person in, in becoming the mayor. I'd love to work with someone that I... There just hasn't been that situation. Uh, uh, and again, like I said, there's a name every day jumping in. And mm -hmm. um, um, so uh, I, I just think we, need, we owe, we owe ourselves that, that whole exercise to go through. And uh, uh, as I've told people before, there were ways that this decision would have been made for us. I mean, had we had real serious opposition and some of my colleagues who, who really were, mm -hmm. were, if not defeated in the, in the races recently, were very close. And, we weren't in that situation and, um, and and had the field more solidified in the mayor's race, I think both of those would have eliminated us. That didn't happen. We clearly, I think, have an opportunity, a window uh, to, to look at it. But uh, 
Uh, we, we have to swear, in, you know, go the elections in August. We swear in in September, and I think sometime after that we'd have to make the announcement, and, and that's mm -hmm. probably a good time for all of us. And by then, maybe there'll be 12 or 15 people in a right. race anyway, and we'll, we'll take off. You know, you know it's going to be a crowded race. Yeah. Right. Well, right. and just for, you know, as we go to the break, what he's referring to, of course, the mayor's race, that will be next year. Next year, I'm Next sorry, year, yeah. right? But, no, you're talking about in August for the sheriff's race right. and all of that. Right. So, yeah, you have time, but you're thinking maybe in the fall after, you know, the sheriff's race is all over, right. which I understand that. Right. Listen, we'll take a break. Break on that note, if you're on hold, Joe, Philip, and others stay there. The lines are open, 737-7587. Questions, comments about things happening at the jail, something that he might be able to answer for you. We'll take those right after this. Stay with us. What is